As an actor, your only moments of peace and total bliss are the 20 minutes of when someone offers you the role and you're on the phone and you're a million miles in the air and you think it's just everything you've ever wanted and dreamed of. Obviously then you just think, but how do I do it? My book is an intimate portrait of Princess Diana. An attempt to tell the story of what her life, and particularly her marriage, is really like. Behind the glamorous public facade, what we have is a woman who is deeply unhappy. Diana being the most photographed person in the world at that time, there's just this incredible amount of content that we have access to. Obviously, as an actor, it's just, you, you open the portal and it's just this huge tsunami of information that comes at you. All the departments start making things for you and you start stepping into the clothing and the dialect is kind of humming along and you start to sort of inhabit them and embody them and then all of a sudden you have to just make this crazy leap. I felt like the whole world was on my side. But then the wind changed. The way that Peter's written Diana's journey through this season, it's the story of the disintegration and the inevitable breakdown of their marriage into divorce. And I even agreed to do the photo call today, requested by your people so the lie could be paraded to the world's media about what an adoring husband you are on one condition. What's that? That you actually are one! I know Dom was similar to me in this, that we're always looking for the footage we could find of them that was the most honest in a way. He was nervous. He signed in the wrong place. Maybe because you were standing behind him, smothering him. Mothering? Smothering. One of the sort of themes that we explore a lot is the isolation that she experiences as a result of the marriage breaking down and how she becomes more and more removed from the rest of the royal family. You're not saying anything. I don't think there's anything to say. Do you know, I think that's the wisest thing I've ever heard come out of your mouth. At the same time, her children are growing up, so they become more independent of her. She sort of becomes a more and more solitary figure, and that, of course, sort of encourages her to grow other pieces of her life and attempt to sort of recoup control of the ones that feel like they're spiraling. And that's how I get my side of the story out there. People will never understand how it's really been for me. It's kind of an evolution story in the sense of watching somebody sort of find their center again. Ready? There is little doubt that the War of the Waleses has entered a new and more volatile phase.